What's up YouTube, it's your boy Infamous Soldier here And I, see, I noticed on YouTube that there's a lot of editing process recorded pro But nobody actually shows you the basics like how to instru insert instrumentals and how to record and such things like that like duplicate hooks But I'm here to show you that because I get a lot of questions and messages asking me how do you do that so first thing you want to do is open Quarter Pro here, and I always click the X because I don't need any updates. So to insert an instrumental, you go to this button right here, which will open files. Then you just go to the uh, folder where you look where the uh, file is located at. So I'm just put random meat in, and then it's loading it in. To put it in here, you go to uh, you left click. You drag it over and then you notice that there's this little gap right here you right click and then drag it over okay now how to record you click this red R right there and then you uh, click this red button right here if you have a, a microphone plugged into your computer you go to uh, record or rec one and then you choose your microphone. Since I use the Samson CL1U microphone, I click that one, and I don't record a stereo. I always record in the right channel. I don't know why I do this. It's just what I do. And then I click 32-bit. Then same for all tracks. So now when you record, when you change, it's going to be the same. All right. So you can play the instrumental, and then when you get to the spot that you want to do, you just record it. Press this red button right here. And then it'll start picking up your uh, vocals. It'll show you as you're recording. So to stop it, you just press this uh, square right here. And then now you have your uh, recorded vocals. To uh, to record again, I advise you not to. Uh, you have to take that red R out because it's going to record over that. Then it's going to like delete what you recorded if you keep recording on it. So you have to click on the red R right here. And then you just press record again wherever you want to start recording. So that's how you do that. If you want to duplicate something like for a chorus or a hook, so because everybody's asking, how do you duplicate your uh, vocals? Do you re-record it for your hook? No, nobody does that. You uh, you click it, you right-click it, go to loop duplicate. You duplicate it how many times you need it. I'm just do one for this uh example then you just drag it over to the part where the hook is in the song or in the instrumental and it's hard to put the hook in the uh, instrumental by just just this view you know so I this is what I do I magnify the thing I magnify the waveforms then it's um, more accurate to do it this way because if you were in the um, other view it's hard to slide it because it'll be sliding like that and all it'll be sliding like that so this one's more accurate so you can get like in a precise part of the instrumental. So so you can go back by pressing the magnifying, the minus magnifying glass and all that. To delete a waveform that you don't want anymore, you just press right click. And if you want to move remove it from the uh the track, you just press remove and it'll go to this section right here. So you can just put it back in, or if you want to destroy it, you don't want nothing. You don't want nothing to do with it anymore. Press destroy block, and then just press yes. And you press no, because you don't want to save it. And then it's destroyed. You can't use it again, and that's how you do that. To uh, when you loop this, like if you loop duplicate it, and you want to uh do something else with it, and you want to edit it, uh from this one but you don't want to edit this one with it you uh, go to convert to unique copy now when you edit this you won't be editing this because if you didn't convert it you would have been editing both both and then you would have like messed it up like say if you cut this it will uh, cut this one too if you didn't com uh, convert it so that's how you do that and if you want to edit it you just click it click this button up here and it'll go to the waveform or you can just double click it double clicking is faster but both are effective and efficient so uh, that's how you do that alright now 
when you edit your vocals, you can go on YouTube, you can Google uh, editing processes. You can use my Salvador way that I used to use, but now I use a new process now. So that's how you uh, edit your vocals here. Say if you wanted a chipmunk voice, you can go to time and pitch and stretch. And then like helium and it'll raise the pitch and all that. So that's how you do that. One last thing also. Um, people ask, how do you save it? You go to file and save mix down as. And then you just make a folder or whatever where you want to save it. I'm going to just save it to my desktop. And then you go down here and make sure it's an mp3 file. You don't want to wave or anything else because mp3 is the best quality to save it in. And it's mostly used around the internet. So you go to that and you just save it. I'm just save it as that. An example. You click save. And it'll save everything you've done. So that's how you do that. And that's basically the basics of this program. So... If you have any comments or questions, message me or just comment below on this video. It's your boy Infamous Soldier, and I'm out.